Hi everybody, it's Kathy from Beads, Boxes, and Beyond, and welcome, and I'm so glad that you can come and join me again. Today, <clears throat> excuse me, today I want to try and do a, a quick little flip through on another journal of mine that will be posted in my Etsy shop, and it will be for sale uh, before I get started. My Etsy site will be listed in the, in the description below. I, you can also follow me on Facebook at, as Beads, Boxes, and Beyond. On Instagram as Beads Boxes and Beyond, and I also have a Twitter a Twitter account that I will place in the description down below. Um, if you like what you see, please leave a comment. Follow me. You can follow me by subscribing to my channel. And if you'd like to have a notice of when I put a new video up, just hit the little bell, and that will notify you whenever I have a new video up. All right. So let's get going here. The journal that I have here today is a cooking theme type journal. Uh, some of you out there love to cook and would like to have a place to store some of those really, uh, I want to say, precious, precious recipes, or maybe you just like to write about foods. Maybe you are a connoisseur. Maybe you want to just put down reviews on things that you've done, whatever. This one has to do with cooking, with food, anything like that. So there's plenty of blank pages for you to write in. And there are signatures that have lots of tuck spots in them and pockets for you to store your own ephemera in there if you wish. What I have in here does not have to stay. It will come with the journal, but uh, it's up to you whether you want to keep it or not. So with let's just keep going here. Um, we have a hook here on the front which resembles a piece of silverware and I just have an, a real simple elastic uh, latch to it and I it's it's made to stretch so that way you can add whatever you want in here and it'll expand quite a bit you will have quite a bit of room uh, hard cover on the front and back but I have a soft leather spine for those of you that follow me and have seen my work, I really deal with the soft um, spine because it's like this and there's nothing hindering it. When you open the book, it opens flat no matter where you want to write. And whether you're left-handed or right-handed, it's easy to write on all of my pages. So that's why I am stuck with the, I don't want to say stuck. I am sold with the uh, soft spine of a book right now. So, that's it in a nutshell. We have... Hello? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven signatures. Three of them are signatures that just hold ephemera. So the first signature consists of just paper, plain, and lined, and it's all been stained to look old. Okay, so we will not go through every single page of these signatures like this. I will just tell you that it's basically the writing paper of that part of the journal. So this part here is one of the signatures that has the pockets and holds ephemera. So let's go through here real quick. And this right here, <clears throat> excuse me, is the grocery prices from long ago. And that just gets tucked in the top of this one. And then this is an actual piece from an antique store. It's uh, a bit of an advertisement that I just thought was really cool. So I picked that up to stick in there. And just a piece of ephemera here on the different parts of the hog. And of course, uh, my business card goes in every one of those. And I'm going to see if I can't get that in there a little bit closer. There we go. And then we open up and I have a cascading papers here for you to write on. Here's a blank place here. You can either add pictures or do your own, um, you know, I call this, well, I call it a bulletin board. So you can put your own little things on here, but another blank spot. This opens up and on this, here we have a picture of an old grocery store. It opens up and we have a lined section and a lined section back here with another pocket and inside this pocket we have an old ad of some kitchen appliances of the day 
We have a little piece of Ephemera Mama's recipe card. And this came from a board game. And it just, I don't know what kind of game it was, but a kitchen utensil, which is appropriate for this journal right here. And then on the back, we have this beautiful graphic with the fork. And inside here, good things to eat, Arm & Hammer baking soda. It's a small cookbook that I picked up at the antique store. Just love those little things like that. And an old recipe, not recipe, receipt. And this is permanently affixed to the page because it was so brittle, hard to deal with. I didn't want it to torn up with a paper clip here to look like it was paper clipped to the page. So here's another section of the writing uh, part of the journal. And this is the next section that has ephemera with pockets and all. And this one is just one big pocket. And we have this piece right here. And it also has a place for you to write on the back. This piece here is a piece of reproduction of a cover of an encyclopedia. And you can write your own little notes on the back of that. And then this is one of my collage tags with a spoon on it. And it has gr like a graph paper on the back so you can write on that or make notes. So that's there. Then we open it up and we have this pocket. And this is a reproduction from an old recipe book. Kind of tucked in there with some waffles and stuff on it. And an old recipe card. It's tucked in there. A breakfast biscuit with coffee. Doesn't that sound delicious? And here we have two little hidden pockets. And inside here we have an ad for carnation milk. And you can write on the back of that. Just slides in right there. And of course this cute little cute little tag. The aprons. And then we have this one here in this hidden pocket. And has to do, it's in French. Don't know French. But he's drinking something. <laughs> and then we're going to close this on this side. We have another fold out. This is another picture of a grocery store. And we have lined paper here to write on and another pocket or tuck spot, and we have an ad for ketchup and olive oil and stuff like that, and an old label for pumpkin. This is a, this is really cute. That's from a 1947 magazine, the oven, two, two ovens going. So this is another section of the writing paper another section or signature I should say which we come to this one here that holds ephemera this is another signature this has a lot of pockets in it love the graphic and here is this is dated really old you can tell by what she's wearing I would say like the, the 30s but this came from the antique store um, it's just how to do things make an ice cream but they use what was called jello and I don't think anything like that's available now online or in the stores. This piece here I just really liked. It's just a picture. This lady cooking bread on her, on her inner stove, wrought iron stove. And that we goes in here. We got a couple of pockets on this one. We got a pocket here, and we got a pocket here. And then we open this side up. And we have a tuck spot here for a tag. And up here we have a tuck spot for a tag. Just a short one. It's a small little tuck spot. And then here we have a couple of actual photographs that uh, I found at the antique store. Looks like everybody's out having a picnic or cooking out. And this one here just reminds me of somebody who would do the recipes, you know, like anybody's grandmother, and then they were prize recipes. So these could tell a story if you wanted to. Um, that was Mrs. Hook, Laura Hook, maybe? And this one doesn't have anything on it. So if you know any of these people, let me know, because I collect these from uh, antique stores. Um, they speak to me, they tell me a story, and I hope, that's why I have them in here, that it would help you as a writer or anybody who likes to journal, um, 
you know, little fictitious stories that would help you with your writing a little bit. Here we have a center page pocket and we got a little tuck spot here with a couple pieces of ephemera. They just go right in there. This here, honey recipes. This is an antique recipe booklet from the honey people. And that just tucks in there. And on this side, we have another little tuck spot of an old stove. You can go right on the back of it, too. And here we have a couple of pockets. This one here, this is an actual um, receipt from a creamery company. It's dated 1926. You see that? Yeah, I like picking up things like this at the antique store. And so that just slides right in there. And then here's another little pocket, and we've got an actual vintage uh, seed packet. I picked that up while shopping at the antique store. This is a reproduction, but I really like it. I picked this up online. And then an old ad. Yeah. Has to do with groceries and grocery shopping. And then on the back, we have, in this pocket, a dinner, dinner menu. This came out of a recipe book. Isn't that kind of neat? How cheap everything was back then. And a tuck spot here. And this is a piece of original um, ephemera. And, of course, there's a recipe card that you can write on, too, if you want. And this page here has an ice cream maker and a, a toaster, a little time toaster. But this is another section of just paper, 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 paper. And then the back of the book, which has my signature and stamp. And that's it in a nutshell. So this is um, just a, a cookbook-themed journal that I hope would inspire anybody who would like to do writing or anything like that with, to do with food. You could also, good place to keep all of grandma's and mom's recipes that are favorites for you and your family or what have you. So I thank you for coming and joining me today, and I hope, uh, hope to see you again, okay? We'll talk to you later. Bye for now.